The youth in this area that belong to minority groups, and in particular homosexuals, have a much higher rate of suicide. In the past, you, have, you will not address the topic of gay rights as you see it as irrelevant. Do you think it is appropriate for us to have a discussion about the links between regional Australia and suicide and willingly omit an entire group of at-risk individuals? Um. <clears throat> I'm attributed with having some hostility in this area, and you'd want to have a look at my record before you started making that claim. I think, I think um, that's helpful. As far as the party goes, we had a couple of people there. They were a very serious problem, and they had very serious personal problems. They're not now associated with our party. And I answer the question that way. Tony, I, I can't help but come back, and I am jumping sideways slightly. The issue that Marie raised, there is an incarceration issue. There are two people in this audience. No, Bob, uh, Bob, I'm going. No, I'm, I'm going. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to uh, rather yeah, than go right. sideways. Well, I'd, how I'd about like to, just? I'd like to come back to that later. You, on. you can come back if to that, that later, question. but please address this yeah. question. Right. I would say that your reluctance to address homosexuals as well as their civil rights is quite detrimental to their mental health. Uh, I'm quite happy to address that issue any time anyone brings it to me. Right. I have an electorate where I have a person committing suicide between Longreach and the Gulf Carpenter every two weeks in, in the cattle section. I have large First Australian communities where it is absolutely endemic, right? And if you're saying, well, what's your priorities? Well, the priorities that I got are the people that are confronting me and quite rightly confronting me. That's the problem that I have to deal with. You have a problem that you might have to deal with in your life and if I can assist you in any way, I'm only too happy to do that. I think but probably the issue, right, is you say that it's not a priority, but you talk about it quite a bit. And when you do talk about it, you say awful things. Um, <laughs> so that's the problem. So if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're going to... If you're going to go out there as an elected member of parliament and deny the existence of homosexuals in your electorate, which is kooky, um, <laughs> Adorable, but kooky. Of course, people are going to get upset, right? And, and, and what, what worries me when I hear you talk like this, and I spent the day Googling you, and you're adorable, <laughs> um, is you say a lot of really important, powerful things, right? Like, <clears throat> like what you've said tonight, I hear it, and I think this is a guy that cares, and it's really important. When I hear you talk about dairy farmers, and you say people in the cities should spend more than $2 on milk, I agree with you. But then when you go out, and you deny the existence of homosexuals in North Queensland. They exist. There's an app called Grinder. I'll put it on your phone. Um, <laughs> you, 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 you disenfranchise the community. And, and, the, and, and I spoke earlier about guys and being as, afraid of. Um, talking about their feelings and afraid of being feminine, afraid of looking gay, right? And that is all tied to the kind of homophobic talk you get all through society. If you are trying to talk about mental health, in one hand saying this is very important but these guys don't matter, then the whole community just falls I, apart. I, 